Dumas, Washington with a load of Canadian lumber. I'm Craig and you're watching Trucker Josh on TJV. Enjoy! Weasel. Weasel. Is it a good morning? Is it a good morning? It's a good morning, man. Good morning to all of you. We're here unloading right now. I've got the tarps off, the part of the load that this guy is unloading off me right now. And uh, we're just waiting until they're done, right, Diesel? Then we're heading off to Brampton. Yay. I'll show you what they're doing here quickly before he comes back. He's over there. So this is uh, under the tarp here. That's going into Brampton. So I left the tarp on that. All of these here are being unloaded. So I've got to make sure I take off all this dunnage. These are all nailed on. I don't take that all off here. I don't want to. You know, I'd like to take them home but uh, I don't think I'm gonna have room for them on the trailer. I don't know what kind of freight I'm hauling. I know what my next load is and it's going to Oak Bluff or Oak Bank, one of the two in Manitoba. So I gotta pick that up uh, tomorrow morning and take that back to Manitoba. I don't know how much trailer space it's gonna need yet though. They didn't tell me. So I just wanna have the whole trailer available. So we got into town pretty late last night. We got here at what, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, something like that. Stopped for my mandatory eight hours at that Petro Pass card lock there. Nobody bothered me. I wasn't in anybody's way, I guess, so did that. And then uh, that was just around the corner from here where we are now. And uh, I took my tarps off for this load over there so I didn't have to do that in the yard here. Came over here, took my chains and straps and stuff, whatever else equipment I had on the spools off, and now they're doing their thing. Here he goes. Oh, oh, he's just trying to grab him right now. Don't drop him. I don't care if you drop him. I don't care what you do with him. Just get him off my trailer. <laughs> there he goes. I could care less if he drops them. I mean, I would rather he didn't, but I did my job. I got them here in one piece. I got them here. They're nice and clean. They're not damaged. I did my job. You want to drop them doing your, that's fine. I don't care. Just don't drop them on my truck. <laughs> Once they're off my trailer, they're not my problem anymore. <laughs> so I already called the uh, customer in Brampton. And we're going to get these other three big spools unloaded this afternoon yet. And then I'm going to go stay at the truck stop in Mississauga there. I think it's Mississauga or Brampton. It's the Husky. We used to stop there all the time when we were on vans. And then we'd walk over down to Courtney Park Drive and go to the Cineplex and watch a movie. Or something, go for a walk. Well, I think we're gonna do that again tonight. I'm gonna go see a movie. Maybe. I don't. I don't really feel like seeing a movie. Maybe I'll just watch some TV in the truck here and relax. But my reload is in Brampton, and it's. Let's see. Actually, here. Uh, where is it going exactly? Show me. Learn me. Okay, we are picking up. Uh, da -da. In Brampton, Ontario. Okay, so the same neighborhood. And it's going to Oak Bluff, not Oak Bank. Oak Bluff, Manitoba. That's just on the west side of Winnipeg. And they want it there Friday morning. So I have tomorrow, which is Tuesday, right? Oh, yeah, tomorrow, Tuesday. So I have Tuesday, all of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to get there. Unload it Friday morning, then go home. Because on Saturday, we have a Christmas gathering with my mom's side of the family. A big extended family Christmas gathering. On Monday, I have a doctor's appointment about all my blood pressure and stuff, and I haven't updated you on that in a little while yet. My blood pressure has been perfectly fine for the last week and a half. Perfectly fine. And what I think it was is I was taking supplements. It's supposed to help. They were natural supplements. They were supposed to help with male fertility, right? And help out in that department with dudes and uh, baby making. So, uh, natural, I figure it's natural, whatever, natural, right? I, I took them and I noticed that whenever I did take those supplements, that uh, 
if I did any physical activity, if I went for a walk, or if uh, I remember I was hanging up Christmas lights the one night, or any other physical activity that's involved in the whole process, that uh, it would, uh, I'd be out of breath for a, a very long time, like for the rest of the day, out of breath. And my blood pressure would be through the roof, at like 150 over 100. Or one, I think my highest one was 151 over 97 or something like that. And I tied it to those, so I threw those out for the past week or so. And I've noticed that my blood pressure has gone straight back down to normal. So that was definitely what was raising my blood pressure. So be careful with natural supplements. Just because they're natural doesn't mean they're good for you. I, I don't know what that, that was doing. I'm going to talk to my doctor about it. I should have talked to him first, I guess. But you know me. Got to learn on my own. I don't care. I got to learn on my own. So I threw them out and it's everything's been good. But I do still have a pain in my back that isn't, it's like a lump in my back that I, I'm not too sure. I don't want to talk too much about it yet to get myself all freaked out because if I Google what it could be, it's, it's going to tell me it's cancer. But I, I don't think it's cancer. I'm going to tell myself it's not cancer. But uh, I'm going to go get myself checked out anyways. And I have to get myself checked out for that high blood pressure to make sure that my heart wasn't damaged because I went in there with symptoms of a heart attack when I went to go see the walk-in and she told me to monitor it and you know he's got to make sure that everything's okay. So that's what's happening on Monday. On Tuesday... We go and see the, Britt and I, we go see the fertility doctors again, and we're moving on to the next stage of fertility treatments, which is called IUI, uh, which is pretty much like I explained to you a couple of weeks ago. If you missed that, I'll explain it to you again in layman's terms. It takes my dudes, my guys, and it drops them off at the finish line, all right? Because they're kind of lazy. There's lots of them, great numbers of them, but they don't want to go the whole race for some reason. So, we're just gonna drop them off the finish line. There you go. Or as the doctor likes to tell us, <laughs> the way the doctor described it to us, or to Britt, was, uh, you know, usually they have to take the stairs to the top. We're just gonna give them an elevator ride. So that's, that's what IUI is. And uh, that's our next step in fertility, in getting Britt pregnant and having our first baby. So uh, we've been trying since we got married so uh, this next year, it'll be three years that we've been trying. We've been trying over two years. Is that right? Over two years? Not since we got married, but since we've been actively like trying and since we've realized that we've had fertility problems. And we've been seeing the fertility doctor since this last summer in 2019. And uh, IUI is the next treatment. I really think that it's, it's going to work because uh, she's on fertility medication as well. And she's apparently very fertile. The doctor says there's absolutely nothing wrong with her. She's got, she's got everything in order and everything is really good. So I uh, just got to get my boys to the finish line and it, it shouldn't be a problem after that. So it's a little bit of a pricey. This obviously isn't covered by our basic health care, but we got it. Uh, this is something we really want. And uh, if you guys are wondering about costs or whatnot, uh, if you're struggling with fertility maybe we can talk about that in a future video but you know it's about $650 just to register and then $625 for every procedure after that and that's just the basics but we can go over that in another video in the future I've already been talking for six and a half minutes here waiting for this guy to get me unloaded but that's a whole update of my life so that's on Tuesday so Sunday is Christmas Monday is my doctor's appointment Tuesday morning is our fertility appointment and then I get back on the road I got to make some money before Christmas yet and off we go. I got the inside of my windshield a little dirty there with my gloves. I threw them onto the dash to let them dry on the vent. Oh, what's this guy doing? What's this guy? Oh, you're the male person. Used to be the male man, now you're the male person. Hello, person. Nice to meet you people kind. So now we're, uh, yeah, we're headed 80 kilometers into Brampton get there about three o'clock this afternoon and I'm not too sure where I, I was thinking of going to that husky for night I'm not too sure because my reload is sort of on the other side of Brampton I'm gonna see if there's some truck parking nearby over there I mean I don't have to go see a movie tonight by myself like I do that on the road sometimes I and mean, there's no shame in going to see a movie by yourself when you're on the road why not who else are you gonna go with but uh I might just watch some TV in the truck here. Enjoy a little bit of an evening. Maybe go to bed early. I'm getting old. Not sure what little town this is. What does it say? Bellwood? Is that what it's called? Bellwood, Ontario? Continue on 
this road for 13 kilometers. Look at that building there on the right. Wow. That's old. I wonder what they use it for. It looks abandoned. That's too bad. Yeah, these towns in Ontario are, are old for Canadian standards. These are some of the first settlements. Well, this is the first area. Some of the first area. I mean, Quebec City was settled first. What I'm trying to say is it's older than Manitoba. Well, we're seeing a lot of people, a lot of vehicles, and a whole bunch of big cement blocks with holes in it that people live in. In the sky. Look at all this. We're in the city. This is Brampton, I believe, which to me is Toronto. It's all the same to me. I was gonna say something nice, but I guess I got nothing to say. <laughs> it's Toronto. Behind enemy lines here. Gotta be careful, keep your head down. Just get in, get out. I'm being silly, but really I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the city. It's too many people in one place. We're gonna go see the Joker. I decided, actually I talked to Britt about it, she encouraged me, said I should go have some fun, watch a movie. So here we go. Gonna go hear what all the fuss is all about. I've heard all kinds of reviews about the Joker. I heard it's a great movie. I'm gonna go get something to eat first though. If I can get across the street without getting run over. I've walked this road many times. I used to stop at that Husky. Every time I was in the area, I used to have layovers here more often. And I stopped there and it's just like one and a half kilometers or one mile walk down to the theater over here. And there's a Boston pizza there. There's a Moxie's, there's a McDonald's. Whatever kind of food you're into. All around the same area there. And there we go. Google said it was gonna take 25 minutes to get here. I got it. Got here in about 15 minutes. There used to be a Montana's restaurant around here too. Oh, I'm gonna get some food first. It's time, the movie's at 7.30. Time is now 6.30, so I have an hour.